Now, once again, this is Tasha M. Dyer, Trey Whisper, creator of the BYOB Cash Out Strategy. Good evening, Navari. Good evening. So, yes, keep logging in. Keep dropping it in the chat where you're calling in from as you log in this evening. Now, you want to also, Akron, good evening. You want to also make sure that you drop in the chat, drop in the chat those affirmations. Now, let me tell you just how strong the affirmation is. You guys know I always have time for a testimony, and I've been talking about this all day, and I'm going to keep talking about it. Good evening, Nigeria. Good evening. So affirmations, let me tell you just how strong they are. And this is the mindset you have to be in. So tonight, I'm going to pause for a moment as we dive into BYOB Market Talks. And I want to stress to you just how important your mindset is. So when we ask you to write this out, when we ask you to walk in the affirmations of your affirmations, we'll walk in the affirmations of your belief, walk in what you believe is going to happen. I am a BYOB master trader. I am the signal. All my trades in and profit, I am 777. Let me help you understand just how powerful that is and how clear your mind has to be. So we shared a video in the Telegram chat today. We shared a video. Now, now I'm gonna just tell you how strong it is. This child, for that video that you saw, the child is 11 years old. I've been talking about this all day because I'm so excited. Now, why is that so significant? One, not only because it's a child, 11 years old, so that eliminates all excuses. That eliminates everything. But it was just a few weeks ago, not even a complete month, when he picked up the phone. He picked up and he said, I'm going to trade. When we started rallying on Bitcoin and he saw the excitement in the chat, he's always listening. He's always there. Remember, our children do what we do, not what we say. However, he was sitting there and he also got excited and he said, I'm going to do this. Then after he made profit and took profit and cashed out on the cryptocurrency, learning how to trade on a cryptocurrency just this past weekend, he said, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. This week, I am going to try. Now, he didn't say try. He, said, he actually said this week, I am going to trade. And he named some, uh, he named some currencies and some indices. That's what he did. And guess what? Today is Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Tuesday. And this young man, in a few minutes, made $1,300, okay? Young man, 11 years old. He made a decision. Hear me clearly. He made a decision that he was going to learn this skill set. He made a decision that he was going to take profit. He made a decision that all his trades in and profit. So I ask you tonight, when you type those affirmations, when you put them in the chat, are you making a decision, a decision to be a master trader, a decision to be the signal, a decision that all your trades in and profit, a decision to be 777? Are you making those affirmations as we get started here this evening? Are you making that decision and that's what we're talking about here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, today is the last time we're going to meet this week. Yes, it is. But I'm excited. As you can hear my excitement. So I'm feeling thankful. I'm, like I'm in the spirit of thanksgiving. In the midst of everything that's happening in the world right now, I'm in the spirit of thanksgiving because we are economically unbothered. And now you have a child who has shifted. This is what we mean when we say 1 million families financially educated and impacted. 1 million families financially educated and impacted. That's what that means, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, this is what Be Your Own Bank is all about. So this is something over the holidays. This is something that you want to share. You want to talk about. You want to have conversation about. You want to empower someone. One million families financially educated and impacted. So that's what has me excited this evening. So as we dive into this evening's training, as we dive into here tonight, let me get a 111 in the chat. If this is your first time here with us this evening, let me get a 111 in the chat. And if you are still learning how to cash out, let me get a 222.
So welcome, 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 and welcome back. Welcome, welcome, and welcome back. Welcome and welcome back. So I don't know, I'm excited. We're changing the lives around here. The things are shifting. So welcome and welcome back to every last one of you all on this call. So let's get started here this evening. Tonight is BYOB Basics. So that means we're taking it back to the basics. We're going to slow it down just a moment. We're going to back up just a minute to make sure that you all understand the strategy and of course, how to use the tools. That's what it's all about. So in the morning, normally Monday through Thursday at 5 a.m. and 9 a.m., we are live in the market where we're showing you how to use what we've implemented, okay? That's what we're doing. And so what I wanna do here tonight is let's talk about the BYOB cash out strategy. And as I stated, we're gonna slow it down. So I want you guys to understand if you're a 111, a 222, whatever, ask your questions, drop it in a chat. I guarantee we're going to answer them. Tonight is the night in the evenings when we're on this call. This, this is when you wanna make sure that you put those questions in the chat. This is when you wanna make sure that we get those questions answered. Now, we've been talking about the different types of markets that we're in, and it's no wonder why all of you all are definitely, definitely, definitely um, in profit. So it's no wonder why each and every last one of you all in profit because you're understanding. And so let's just break this down. Let's talk about it. And we're going to look at a buy. We're going to look at a sale. That's what we're going to do. And we also promise that we'll look at some trends and some support and resistance lines. So what website am I using? Good question. Let me, uh, we can start there. That's a really, really good question. So if you come here, you can actually access the Vibrata, which some of you may know it as the web analyzer. That's why it's in parentheses. So you can notice this is the Vibrata web analyzer. So what you're seeing is imlwebanalyzer.com. That's what this site is. So you see imlwebanalyzer.com. So let me come on over here to the to um, I am. And when you're here, you can also access it this way. So what you're seeing is you're looking here, you log into I am dot center. So you can access it either way. Now, I am dot center. When I come here to strategies, okay, I click strategies. Now, when I come click strategies, I want to scroll down. When you scroll down, you actually have access. These are the tools that are here. You see, you ha actually have look digital currency, you have the HFA. You have the Foreign Exchange Academy. So this is where all the tools are housed. However, you can also come here, click Vibrata, and this is just the Vibrata, like it's a web analyzer is the Vibrata, but access it this way, you click that and it's going to open up. So what they've done is collectively, they put every single thing in one place, all the tools in one location for you to be able to access them. So what you're doing right here is it looks the same. You wanna come up here to strategies, you want to click the BYOB cash out strategy. So you do that, you click the BYOB cash out strategy. You come here. Now, when I click the BYOB cash out strategy, it's on a white background. The only difference between these two is it's a little flipped around. And of course the white background. So I'm always, when you see this, some of you all pull it up through here. I always come to this website, always here. When you're here, you click the go to app and then it actually opens up. And this is the one I like that has the dark background, the information on the currencies, you know, the alerts are all on this side. And so I just, so that's just where that's at. So this is the only one I believe that's, that's still available to be able to access through its individual website, which is imlwebanalyzer.com. So this is that one now. So um, hopefully that answered your question. I want to make sure you all keep your mics muted, please. And I'm only saying that because it is definitely the same individuals that I keep muting. Now, so here we are. Is As we're sitting here, you can definitely see that we're on GBPUSD and we're on a 15-minute chart. So GBPUSD, 15-minute chart, okay? This is where we start. Why is that important? because anyone can actually get started on this chart. Anyone can actually log in 
and get started on a 15 minute chart. On a 15 minute chart, you begin with the understanding that I can grab 10 pips and cash out when the strategy aligns. Also from there, you can begin learning your market structure, which is what we talked about as far as your trend lines, your support and resistance lines and all of that. And so just as we just had that question, you definitely wanna make sure, and you wanna learn how to follow along with us because yes, I definitely love that statement that you made so I can put the chart on my screen. You want to pull up your chart, you want to follow along because if you notice when we're on the morning calls, on those morning calls, what are we doing? You have to pull your charts up because we analyze as we analyze and then we switch to other currencies or we analyze and we switch the tabs. You, I'm like, go oh, ahead, hey, watch this pair, watch that pair. So you're not just looking at my screen. You're also looking at the screens from the perspective of you being able to make that trade. So that's, that's what you want to be able to do, all right? So that's, that's really, really good that that statements are out there. So do we still take the trade if everything lines up with the resistance lines are there? That's a good question. Let me get to that when we pull up the support and resistance lines. So if by any chance that, and, and I know what you mean by support resistance, I call them the same thing. They're actually the same line. If any chance that I skip over it, you know, just kind of bring it back to my attention because it's not intentional. But that's the, but we're talking support resistance and trend lines as well. So within the um, strategy, so that's something that you want to highlight. And that's something that we said we were actually coming into as we understand this information. And I'm going to see if I can get it all in tonight because we're not having a call on Thursday, obviously. So just want to make sure that um, we can try to make sure that we get it in tonight in combination of the basics and some of the tools. So as you see here, the, the stochastic is my leading indicator, okay? It is definitely my leading indicator. So you always wanna start with the stochastic, all right? That's, that's where you wanna start. So when you start with that stochastic, now you see that we're up here where this is, you see that we're up here around the 80. And understanding that we're here around the 80, Okay, understanding that I'm here around the 80, what you're looking for is a sale right there. Now, if I'm here around the 20, then I'm looking for a buy. Here I'm looking for a sale, here I'm looking for a buy, okay? Now, you also want to also come up here. So if I'm looking for a sale, now these are Hikanashi candles. This is what we call a parabolic stop and reversal. Now, in trading, you use areas of value, which price action trading is pretty much lined up with areas of value. So in trading, now this is price action with a twist because I have my moving averages in my stochastic. I have Hikanashi candles, which if I wanted to change this over to Japanese. All right, so give me just a minute. When we had that pause, I kind of figured that was coming. Let me know somebody drop it in the chat if you can actually hear me. So drop it in the chat if you can hear me as I pull this back up. Yeah, we can hear you. All right, just drop it in the chat for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got it, got it, got it. Appreciate it. Let me get this pulled back up. This is the part of Zoom that I love. This is the part. Now, as we do this, um, as you navigate and as you understand, it, it's pulling back up. So just give me a second. Um, I want so just think about what your questions are, so we can get ready to drop them in there. As I get back on there, it's pulling back up slowly but surely. Internet still good. Zoom just decides to do its own thing sometimes.
All right, so let's see here. It's, it's actually connecting right now. So as I answer your question, though, as I look at that question that was in the chat about support and resistance lines, let me just answer me it now. Uh oh, that was on me. Now that was actually the user. So if you are stuck on a support and resistance line, then what you want to make sure is that one of the things that um, you you do pause, you allow it to, you you do pause, you definitely allow it to connect, or you allow you allow it to pass that support and resistance line. All right, that's that's what you want to do. So here we are. This is where we were. This is where we were. And I'm getting set back up. How do we use support and resistance lines to analyze? Let's see, let me finish explaining the strategy and we'll get into that. Let me finish explaining the strategy and we'll get into that. So now, as I was saying, I'm gonna just start over for the sake of continuity, okay? I'm gonna start over for the sake of continuity. So right here, we have the stochastic, the blue line cross over the red and a downward momentum. What I was showing you right here was the actual Japanese candles. So I don't have to try to figure out how to read these, okay? I don't have to look at how this candle pinned down and it began to come back up. I don't have to come try to read these candles. These Hikanashi candles are trend candles and they actually do the interpretation for me. So what I'm looking for is that flat top. I'm looking for that flat bottom. Now the PSR, that PSR flip, okay? That PSR flip, that PSR flips to the top. And when that happens, it's for a sale. Now, this is that parabolic stop reversal. I have my trailing stop loss. That's a trailing support and resistance line. Really, that's what that is. So now you move up. So now when you're understanding this, so we're going to get the strategy, then I'll get to that question. Um, that I know support and resistance and trends are definitely a question that many of you all have had. So now when we get right here, I'm looking for that flat top candle with that PSR flip to the top. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I have right here. Now I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna come grab this buy right here. And as you can see this, all right, I'm looking at that blue line cross over the red net upward momentum. I have a green candle with a flat bottom that PSR flip to the bottom. Now, in the beginning for my one 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 and my individuals that are just learning the skill set. All right, so you're learning how to trade. This is where you can come in and I wanna go to my five minute and my hour, which is where my time frame confluence is. I come up to my hour. Now at my hour, this has to look like a sale is setting up. That's what it has to do. It has to look like. Now this one has to look like a buy. Now don't get too caught up on a, a look like, don't get too caught up on that because let me explain that to you because I'm, I get this question every single time. Now, you know right here, you know for this sale, you would not have taken that trade. That's what you know. You know right here, you needed a flat top candle, you needed a PSR flip. So you waited, you waited, you waited, you waited. That's what I'm gonna change the color of this one so we don't mix it up with what we're looking at. That's what needs to happen. I need to wait. I need to be willing to wait. So when I come up to my hour, when we say look like, it has to look like a trade you would take, a trade that you would wait on. It's just really that simple. So does this not look like, does this not look like a setup sim very similar to the 15 minute chart when we had to wait for that trade to set up? Now, on my five minute, it needs to still be buying or selling. That's real simplistic. That's that's the easy answer. Like, so if it's selling, it's selling. If it's buying, it's buying. So it needs to still be doing that same thing. Now, right here, this is what I want to highlight. This is a GBP pair. So understanding you have a relationship. Can you use a 30? I'm going to tell you time frame confluence is on the hour. Now, as I'm looking at this and I see my GBP, now GBP gives us an exception to the rule. Let me explain that. If you are a true one-on-one, you're learning how to trade, just wait, just wait it out. 
Just get the foundation, build your foundation. Perfect practice makes perfect. Build your foundation. Now, right here, you see I'm looking for a flat top candle. Looking for that flat top candle. Now, I, I this one, now I can guarantee you because of what this is, this fluctuated between red and green. We're looking at a past trade. So I cannot look at something that like right here, I can tell you, oh, that's a red candle. Now, is it strong enough for you to want to take a trade? Can't not, uh, no. Now, my stochastic is also not moving in that downward momentum right here. So this, these are those small details that are so important to making a difference in your profitable trade and your non-profitable trade, this confluence. This is why so many of you all were able to cash out in the midst of the way the market has been looking. You guys were able to cash out in the midst of being in a, I mean, we were just in a political market. Seriously, that's the market we've been in. And that's why so many of you all have been able to cash out. Now, when I look at this, this more than likely was red, but it closed out green because all that means is when it's hour ended, it actually closed out higher. That's why it's green and not lower. Now, as I look at this and I understand that, even if it was green, I look at how my stochastic has begun to curve down. So GBP gives me an exception to the rule. I can drop down to my 30, but it still has to look like something. If it was, if it looked like this, like how this one looks, there is absolutely no way we would have taken this trade or we would have looked at it. So if I was looking at a sale and it looked like this with a green candle and it looked like this, with the stochastic going up, we wouldn't have looked at the 30 because it wouldn't have mattered. So that's the clarity I want to provide for you tonight. It's how this looks like a sale, this looks like it's selling, that's what it looks like it's doing. All right. So now, when you come to take that trade, that's 10 pips in cash out. Now let's talk about the support and resistance line. Let me go to the higher time frame. So the market, the market is moved by the higher time frames. The market moves by the higher time frames. It's my lower time frames where all the activity happens. So just like if I can do 10 pips in cash out or I trade do to I do my 10 pips in cash out or I trade to that first support, that first resistance line. That's what I do. Do I factor in a four hour? I don't know what you mean by do I factor in. I looked at the Oh, you say it like, do I consider the four hour? When I'm looking at the market structure, I do. Now, I don't need to look at the monthly, the daily, the weekly, and all of that in order to take a trade on the 15 minute. I'm looking for 10 pips, or I'm only going to that first support and resistance line. So, but if I, I always do, and you'll see me do it on the morning calls because you want, I want, I like to know what the market's doing. So you still want to know what the market's doing. You want to have some understanding of what the market's doing. And I kind of show you that in just a moment. So as I look at this, okay, as I look at this, this is how important they are. Let me let me show you just how important support and resistance lines are. So, and I'll use GBP for an example. Now, as you see, this is where that support resistance line, this is where the support resistance line. Let me just, I'm gonna just show you how important these are. I really wanna tell you guys support resistance is your lifeline. I tell you all the time that support resistance is your lifeline. It is your lifeline. Trend lines, okay? Yes, these are trend candles, but you notice that for you all to get that great visual, for you all to understand what's happening, what's transpiring, we've been putting trend lines on here as well. So the both of them, okay, the both of them you want to be able to utilize along with the strategy. Now, I'm gonna just come up here to the monthly. I want you to understand just how significant support and resistance lines are. So if I'm looking at support and resistance lines, okay, this is GBP USD. This is GBP USD. Now, this is where it jumped into the market. This is where it really began. And as you look at this and you understand where we are in the market, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. We don't need them anymore. They're in a the way right now. If you look at these support and resistance lines, okay? Look at this. This is this is GBP USD for the duration of the time that it's been here. Each candle is one month. That's what you're looking at right now. Now just look at that. So if I wanted to put look look where we are right now. If I wanted now, this is never gonna be a fine line in the market. But if I wanted to put a support and resistance line right there, can you see how it bounced off here, it bounced off there, 
it came back over here and it's bouncing off right here. And look when this is around February, around the end of 17, 18. That's significant, right? We're gonna come back. And now where are we at again? We're around this same area. We're coming up to this same area. This same area again. When we talked about cryptocurrency, also talking about, you know, when we looked at cryptocurrency, we looked at how we are back to where we were in 17, 18. So obviously there were some things that's happening in the market that put us in that position. But the point I want to make right now is the importance of support and resistance line. So right now I'm on a monthly time frame. I'm not trading on a monthly time frame. To trade on a 15 minute chart, I don't need to look at the monthly. I'm just on this chart for you all to see the importance of these support and resistance lines. And as you look at them, so as you look at it, you come here and you can just see, now how do I choose support and resistance? Support and resistance, you're gonna have to train your eyes to see them and you're gonna have to practice them. And so um, there in our playlist on the YouTube channel, Market Structure, there is a, probably about three videos that talk about support and resistance lines. And so I actually gave you all some homework, showed you how to do it, how to go back in and grab it and, and actually you know drop them on the chart. So, that that's what we did so i mean you have them here you have one here I did the, i'm not trying to mark the chart up up here i'm just trying to show you how significant they are okay i'm just trying to show you how significant they are but that will help you draw and map out your support and resistance lines it will and so as you can see the market has stayed within here on that monthly time frame now of course that's a significant difference we're not trying to trade it like that but I'm just trying to give you all that big picture. As you can see, the market trends, okay? The market has been, that's a trend. Like, look at how, look at how impulse correction, continuation, correction, continuation. It even does it on a monthly, all right? Now, where we've been in that sideways motion that's been happening right here. So the market's been, but when I stretch, stretch it out some, okay when i stretch it out some you can still see trends you can see movement even movement we're familiar with on the smaller time frames but look right here what we've been saying for the last few months this market has been moving sideways you can see that sideways action from it being a political market where it hasn't been going anywhere and that's what it, that's what it is that we've been looking at right there so now looking at trend lines again so as we draw down, okay, of course, as you go, of course, now we're going to go to the daily. And of course, you'll start seeing more trend lines in here. All right. And so now, right, this, this trend line wasn't there before on a monthly, but now you have trend lines that are there on the higher time frames. So you have these trend lines. All these trend lines are going to continue to develop. They're going to continue. You're going to be able to continue to find them. And what do you start seeing? More market patterns. What do you start seeing? More trends. I'm on a daily time frame now. What do I see? I see more trends. And as you can see, you see those trends that actually come within the market. So you, you can see all of that that's happening with the market. Come on down to the four hour where we're very familiar with, where we spend a lot of our time on that hour and that four hour. And you can still see all of that correlates, but now I see more support and resistance lines, okay? So now you can understand why, like when we're talking about the tools, let's bring this back to the tools. Now you can understand why when we're talking about the tools and you see those support and resistance lines, as you see these things develop in the market, why they're so important or how they play because this, you want to understand the market structure you want to understand where the support and resistance lines now you see these support and resistance lines are still here there's nothing but space and opportunity for the market to fill in over here so the support and resistance lines do not change okay they don't change i just took you to the monthly time frame and i'm bringing you back down and so every level that we come down to, you're now at uh, each level, I get to add support and resistance lines because you start seeing more activity that's happening in the market. You're gonna see on a five minute, you'll see support and resistance lines that you didn't even see on the hour. You'll see on the hour some that you didn't even see on the monthly because every time frame you go down, you start seeing more support and resistance lines. And that's because it's more activity. So right now, each candle is 30 minutes as opposed to a month. So just imagine all of this is happening within that month. Questions, comments, drop them in the chat. Drop them in the chat as we go through this. I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm trying to paint a big picture for you tonight. I want you to understand the big picture. So 
So when price gets to a support and resistance, you wait for the pullback. Nine times out of 10, and that's my statistic, but nine times out of 10, it's going to do that. So you notice that we keep adding them at every time frame, but you notice that, so it gets to that support resistance line. Good question. Impulse, correction, continuation. I showed you that on a higher time frame. Impulse, correction, continuation, correction, continuation. It just is going to continue to happen. It's not always just smooth. It's not always where it just rise right up. And you see, we're looking at GBP and GBP kind of makes its own rules. But you notice that once again, I start getting more trend lines. We get more support and resistance lines. And this is what happens within the market. So every time we drop down. So now let's bring this back to the tools a little bit. So that was a good question though. So now when we're talking about the harmonic scanner, all right, when we're talking about the harmonic scanner, which if I come over back over here to the products, I click harmonics, I come click the harmonic scanner. This is something that we pull up a lot in the mornings. Now you notice that we always tell you do not trade this. You don't want to take these trades blindly. We don't, we don't take these trades blindly, okay? We just don't. I guess GBP USD is not gonna, so it's already played out. We don't have, have a new one. So as you notice, or it was looking, okay, no, actually we don't have a new one. Look at this, it's looking for a sale. It never sold. So now you understand why we don't just blindly take these trades. Now you see, yes, this is a valid harmonic pattern. The market actually went into a buy. It just went to a buy. So I'm not gonna blindly take this for a sale. But the point I'm getting at is bringing that back over here. I'm not gonna just come here and just, like I say, you see it went to a buy. I'm not gonna come here and, and that was on the hour. We should be on the hour. And this one. Yes, I'm on the hour. So I'm not gonna come here and blindly take this trade because it said a harmonic pattern was down here. And then of course it kept going up. What what you want to do is come back over here and apply the BYOB cash out strategy to it. And that would have told you not to take that trade. Okay. That would have told you that we definitely wouldn't have took that trade. These are not even the same indicators anyway. So you come back over here and you apply it. So now when you see that I probably should, uh, they don't have GBP hasn't triggered lately. So, but just in the, from an understanding standpoint, now when you see what's happening in the market, and you see, like when you see, let me come back over here to one a little bit more smooth, a little smoother. When you see what's happening in the market and you can see that you have that impulse correction and somebody just asked, do you get that correction at support and resistance lines? Impulse correction, continuation. Of course, you have another one right here. And then of course, continuation. Now GBP correction, you see how it can pull back down but you see how it's still riding up. Like, so you get the corrections that always happen right up in here. And so that's what you're looking at. So when you get these triggers, these triggers from the vibrata actually happen here. This is where a trigger will happen. That trigger will happen somewhere around here. That trigger will happen somewhere around here. Okay, so the vibrata is going to always trigger and I'm just trying to show you as an example the vibrata is going to always trigger these around the support and resistance lines. So what it's doing is scanning the market on all currency pairs and it's scanning the market to find those entry triggers. Now, you still have to do your analyzation because you still get triggers that happen right here. This will make a trigger for you, okay? We'll get a trigger right here. Of course, we'll get a trigger right here. And it's a valid trigger, but are we at a position in the market where the market moves up. So to go back to that question, do I analyze the four hour time frame? Not necessarily to take my trade, but I do analyze it to understand where I am in the market. So even if I'm on a five minute, so this, the, this would pull a trigger on the vibrata. This will pull a trigger on the vibrata. They're valid. They are valid. All of these will pull a trigger on the vibrata. All of them are valid. And now you understand why you get all those triggers and then you see me in the morning saying, you know what? You wanna analyze this. You wanna know where it's at. And the beautiful thing is it calls it in the correction so you can take that ride up. Now, blue line cross over the red in a downward, in an upward momentum, in a downward momentum. However, I'm looking at this and I need to understand that this is rising, okay? This is where this is at. And so when you see that you're up here at the top of the stochastic, yes, that's still valid 
because you're in that correction. The trade starts. So when you're trading from the 15 minute time frame, you're trading from that initial set. You're trading from an initial perspective, that initial thought process. You're trading from there. You absolutely start down here, blue line cross over the red and green candle flat bottom, piece our flip. That's a one, one, one. Now, as your skill set develops, you want to understand your support and resistance lines. You want to understand how to implement that and put them on the chart. You want to understand where your trends are. So now I'm walking you through the development of your skill set. I'm walking you through as your skill set develops, as you grow, as you build, and as you can see this market. So now I'll come use the vibrato, and using a vibrato, you can see where this triggers and why. So when I get that question, but wait, 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 and you guys see I'm on an hour, it doesn't matter. You can do this on any time frame. And you get that question, wait, 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 wait. You know, but you're not at the 20. I know I'm not at the 20, but look where this is on that higher time frame. You see where it said on the higher time frame, on the higher time frame, you see how nice and smooth that trend is? And look at how this nice and riding up. We're still in that buy. So as I increase, like you just said, well, do I go to my higher time frame? What am I looking like? As it increases, you see that that trend is still in an upward momentum. So that's why I was telling you guys, you have to go analyze it on a higher time frame. I can't do that on a 15. 15 is going to have those corrections and pullbacks. And now let's go actually go to the 15. Let's take a look at it. Hopefully this is bringing some clarity for you all tonight. I, I really hope you get some clarity and understand. So if you notice that now it looks a little different on the 15 minute time frame. And so on that 15 minute time frame, you see where it pulls up. You got that blue line cross over the red. It starts here. You actually had the correction. You see the correction that happens right here. You see where we started around here. You see we're around that 20. So now you see on a 15 minute time frame why you're always able to take those trades. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You always bring clarity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So why you see I'm around that 20, around that 20. Um, I'm over here. I'm around that 20. I'm around that 20. You see over here, I'm around that 80. I'm around that 80. So you see I'm around that 20. I'm around that 20. I'm always at the corrections. That's where I'm at. Do we choose a few pairs to monitor so we're not staring at the charts all day? Um, that's that's completely up to you. But what I will tell you is whenever you get ready to take a trade, it's always opportunity. So if even if you can only take, we've done a challenge in the past. Let me let me help you guys with something. We've done a challenge in the past. We we've done a challenge in the past. And what that challenge did is it allows us. Let me see if I can pull this up without Zoom kicking me out again. Y'all pray. Y'all y'all need y'all to pray. But what that challenge has done is it allowed us to be able to take some trades and compound, okay? That's, that's what it does. You're able to take some trades and compound. And so if you're only in a position, we've done a challenge where we did two trades a day, just two trades a day. And if you understand compounding, you understand how I'm trying to pull something up for you. But if you understand compounding, then I mean you it, it, it puts you in a completely different world so you don't have to trade I can tell you if you compound properly you journal properly you you systematically increase your lot size you do not have to stare at the charts all day you do not have to do it you can literally do two trades a day just two and you can profit more than somebody doing 20 trades a day because that person doing two 20 trades a day might only be my if they're not compounding properly then i mean ultimately and i'm talking about long term i'm not talking about just that day specifically i'm talking about over time when you're doing this the right way when you're when you're looking at this from the right perspective so that's why i always tell you focus on the skill set and the money is going to come so let me go ahead and change my screen for you i'm gonna change my screen Now, who is that that's actually praying? Because when I tried to do this last on last Thursday, it did not allow it to happen. 
All right, so here we go. So this is our compounding sheet. So if I look at this and I start my trade account with five hundred dollars, and I'm a, I'm at a I'm at a low risk of two percent as it's pulled up at two percent. So for those of you who are doing ten pips in cash out, you see I have this highlighted right here. For those of you all, you say yes, prayer works absolutely. So for those of you all, you know, sitting here, for those of you all looking at ten pips. So if I'm doing ten pips. This is my lot size. If I'm doing over 10 pips up to 73, this is my lot size. So if I'm going longer term, that's my lot size. So let me help you with this for just a moment. So now, as you're looking at this, so if I'm doing 10 pips, my lot size is a 0 0.10. $500, 2%, 0.10. .10. Now, longer than that, you shouldn't be at a 0 0.10. You should be at a 0.01 proper lot size. So I'm, I'm, I'm obtaining the same thing. So as I scroll down and I allow that compounding to happen, this is 125 trades, okay? Not days, trades. So just imagine 125, two trades, that's two months. That's two months. So in, in, or a little bit over two months. So give or take a day or two here and there. We're just going to say two months. So just look at this. So I am literally sitting at, at five, from $500 in two months, I'm almost at $6,000. Now give or take a few dollars here and there because of course, you know, each currency pays different. You guys know how much we love CHF. Does you hear the sarcasm? So each, each one pays a little different and things like that. So let's increase, you know, let's increase our last size, okay? And then of course, if I was trading something like GBP and ZD is going to pay a little bit more, you know what I mean? So it's just going to depend. So this is a guide. So I want you guys to understand it's a guide. So if I did 5% growth, okay? No, your stop loss, your stop loss, I, I, you see, I didn't even mention the stop loss. You see, I didn't even mention the stop loss. The PSR is going to tell you what your stop loss is going to be. The PSR is going to tell you that does not change. The PSR that you're so you're absolutely correct. So the PSR tells you what your stop loss is, but I still put it on there, and I can guarantee you nine times out of ten, unless you're talking about a GBP pair, nine times out of ten your stop loss is less than that. So unless we're talking GBP, your stop loss is less than that for the most part. But either way, when you use a strategy combined with the time frame confluence, you know, 92% accuracy rate or even higher. So I just want you to understand. Now you notice indices are not mentioned on here because indices are in is in a whole different account. Cryptocurrency is in a whole different account. This is straight Forex, okay? This is just your straight Forex pairs compounding that. Now, if I did a 5% growth, with that same $500, look at my lot size. My lot size is a 0.25, okay? My lot size is a 0.25. You notice that if I go over 10 pips, it's only a 0.03. You notice that it's only a 0.03. So you guys should do, I mean, so even if when we put the mouse over it and we're like, oh, you could have got 30 pips. Oh, you could have got 50 pips. Oh, you could have done this. Whether I did 10, are you in that super scalper club? Or you did, are you more comfortable letting it sit? then guess what? You, you're earning the same thing, the same thing. So at the end of those 125 trades, okay, so no matter how many you decide to take a day, look look what your balance is now. I'm gonna let, let somebody else drop that in the chat. You see what your balance is? Look at this right here. You see your balance now? You sitting in your resignation. I'm just, so it's going to, yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You can do this 10 pips a day and we're not even on indices. We're not even on indices. We're not even on indices. Focus on the skill set and the money will come. Focus on the skill set and the money will come. So how you guys are silly falling out the chair. So focus on the skill set and the money will come. So when we're on there, we say 10 pips, 10 pips, 10 pips, 10 pips, you know, and cash out, 10 pips, 10 pips, 10 pips, cash out. It will do you some good. It will do you wonderful. Yes, compounding. And this is what I want you guys to understand because I'm walking you through 
the clarity and the understanding, but you say you're never clocking in again. <laughs> I love you guys. But this is what I want you to understand is that we are, this is real. We are so used to compounding out. So we don't drop the mic. I see drop the mic. You know, I see this is powerful. Now, for everybody in this chat, go pick up your credit card statement. Go pick up your mortgage, your car note. Go look at that bottom line. It's not what you saw that they had plastered on there. Buy this house for $299,000. You know, buy this, you know, use this get this car looking at the sticker price that's not what you're paying those people we accept compounding out but what about compounding in we've been accustomed we've been taught that we need to exchange dollars for hours and that's why you never obtain wealth by doing what you were doing that's why we never obtain wealth by doing it the way we were doing it so if i'm only gonna get if I'm every day I go to work, I'm gonna get $25, $25. You see how that $25 never increases? 20, it'll be $25, $25, $25. Because that's it. That's your salary, $25. That's it. It doesn't increase. But yeah, your bills are steady increasing. Your bills, my my bills are steady increasing. And that's why I'm paying on it for 30 years. And I'm paying on it for 20 years. And I'm paying on it. But when you compound in. That's why I'm always telling you, what is your, you know, that's why I'm always telling you guys, you know, please put in your stop loss or please you use proper risk management or please, you know, please, 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 you know, do those things. Those things are so very important. I cannot stress that enough to you guys. Those things are so very important. So before I change back over to the charts, questions, comments, testimonies, drop it in the chat. Understand it. I love you guys. You are so welcome, you are so welcome. And that's why, do I have to sit in front of the chart all day? Absolutely not, no, no, absolutely not, you do not. No, you do not. Let me make sure I'm sharing the same, the right screen with you guys. Absolutely, you do not. Oh, that's something else is coming. That's something else is coming. So let me see. Just bear with me just a little bit. You will never work a job again. Absolutely not. So, well, congratulations and welcome to the family. And you're welcome to the BYOB family. You, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're such an encourager and a wonderful teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome to the BYOB family. All right, so here we go. Let's get back over here. Now, so as we began to, for, from that understanding, so now you understand why these tools are so powerful. And so now you understand why we start on the 15 minute chart. So, you know, now you understand that. And so, yes, you can trade long term, but trading long term, you have to understand this first. And I say that because I cannot touch, and I, that, this is where I said I would go back to that other question. And that, that last question kind of guides you into it. I cannot touch this. You notice how I was in a nice uptrend. This nice uptrend, okay, that was 170 pips. Now, you notice that it broke that trend line, but I cannot touch the higher time frames, okay? So I cannot touch the higher time frames until I understand these support and resistance lines, until I understand the trend lines. Because yes, 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 and let me highlight this for you. So yes, right here, this, this one right here. And I'm gonna change the color on the inside just for a point of, I'm gonna change the color on the inside. Mm, let me make it like this, just so we can see, did it change? Did it really? No, I changed the trend line, that's what I did. So I'm gonna change the color on the inside so you guys can actually see this when I break this down. So right here, you can see that this came back down here, but yes, it flipped over. Yes, you could have started to take that trade, but you would have started this trade on the 15-minute chart. That's where you would have started that trade, and that's why I wanted to see the one that was a different color. So you would have actually started that trade somewhere over here on the 15-minute chart. And so you see that blue line cross over the red. You see that red candle flat top, piece of flip to the top. That's what's happening in there. And you would have had your time frame confluence over here, but it wouldn't have been until you got to that four hour 
and that four hour so you notice when that four hour gave me confluence to take the trade it broke the trend line so you wouldn't have been able to take this trade so i need to understand the 15 minute you grow from there you come up and you start learning the higher time frames and you actually get higher time frame trades from here as well you get higher time frame trades from here as well so yeah so you definitely get that so we get all of that we got the best of both worlds we got the best of everything that's happening right now and so dr bike said he's going to break down the background and comprehension of the calculation of compounding so you don't want to leave you want to stay put so what we just talked about is going to get intensified on the next call it's for a complete and powerful understanding so just based on what we just talked about tonight, I know we covered a lot. Uh, we do not have a call on Thursday. Uh, definitely, let me see if I can show you just from my understanding. Well, we talked about, um, we definitely talked about, we talked about Bitcoin. We talked about Bitcoin on Thursday. We talked about that. So just from my understanding, you know, whatever was moving the market back in 1718, that also moving the is moving the market now. So what you're starting to see is you're starting to see the market getting back into it's nice, trendy. We having all these red folders. These red folders are great. You know, we're not scared of red folders anymore. We've been empowered and encouraged and we understand what they mean. We know what red folders mean. We understand they're in important to market direction. We understand that red folders, based on what they're talking about, are important to monetary policy, the things that actually move the market. So now you're in a position of understanding, and now you're in a position where you understand the red folders, you understand how to use the tools, you know, we just, um, um, what's a nice training? Absolutely, it will be. So you understand that you know how to use the tools, the harmonic scanner. You actually come back, you bring it back here. We talked about, uh, we talked about the, the DeLorean. We talked about the bounce back. You know, we talked about quite a bit of these tools, and even using the bounce back. What the bounce back focuses on, and the reason why you see me pull these two so often in combination with the vibrata is the harmonic scanner gives you the harmonic patterns that typically, let's find one so I can show you real quick. It gives you those harmonic patterns that will tip, see, these haven't played out yet. These are just moving kind of slow, but let's just, they give you the harmonic patterns that actually come and they actually, um, they will identify the harmonic pattern in the market and it comes and it plays out. The bounce back, actually you look over here, you see it's been 10 hours since they call one, but it finds those trends in the market and then you want to bring it back over here so but now and you want to you want to bring it back over here and you want to make sure you analyze it and a lot of times when we find one that's valid it begins to line up with what's happening on the vibrata and you'll start getting those triggers so even if the bounce back would have called this you would have started seeing the triggers like so this would have caught up for a buy you would have started seeing the triggers that come from the vibrata on here to where you knew it broke this trend line right here. All right, it broke the trend line right here and then it begins to move up. The other thing I wanted to train on, which if Thursday wasn't Thanksgiving, which we were supposed to be getting back into, in which so we still are is when I, I promise you guys that when the market gets a little bit more trendy, we come back to the harmonic scanner for you to understand why the 15 minute chart, so many, more of those don't play out than the higher time frames. And now you understand why. So the why behind the what, right? An informed trader is a profitable trader. So because the higher time frames give the market direction. So of course, if I'm on a monthly, then of course on a monthly, the trades are going to play out because it's the monthly time frame. And so you that's gonna have more power. So even on the hour and a four hour where we trade a lot then those are going to have more direction. And so those market structures and those trends lines, and you see the one on a monthly impacts the one on a five minute, but the one on a five minute does not pack the, impact the one on the higher time frames. So now you understand why 
when we pull something on the lower time frames, those typically are not always going to play out the way that one on a higher time frame would. Or so the one on a higher time frame is going to have more power. And that's why we have to do our time frame confluence. So you can understand where the market is and what it's doing and why it's doing it. That's why it's important. All right. Last minute, we're about to transition. Last minute for questions, comments, testimonies. Questions, comments, testimonies. Drop it in the chat, drop it in the chat, drop it in the chat before we transition. You are welcome, you are welcome. You are so welcome. So no more questions, comments, testimonies. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, I definitely wanna make sure that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I wanna thank each and every last one of you all who have purchased the book, okay? I wanna thank you all for that. Now, we've heard some wonderful testimonies behind all of that. So even the ones that have done the testimonies, we've opened it up where you can actually put a message in there where you can give the gift that just keeps on giving. Now, why is that so important? You think about what happened and how I started this call. Started this call talking about an 11-year-old child. Now, yes, um, I mean, it's just phenomenal when you actually can see the manifestation of a family being impacted. You can see the manifestation of a child picking up and his legacy is now shifted for the duration and the rest of his life. And I want you to think about the power and the magnitude behind that. So when you really think about the power and the magnitude behind that, you think about the power and the magnitude behind what it is that this movement is all about, then that is what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why you want to give that type of gift. That's why you want to give, not just because I wrote it, you know, I'm one of the authors, you know, of course, but the reality is it's the information in the book. So it's all about removing blinders and helping individuals understand just the information that we just shared with you this evening. I mean, you think about the compounding piece. Look at the chat. Compounding just gave me encouragement. Just think about how you can shift someone's lives how you can shift someone's life just by doing something of that nature. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, happy Thanksgiving to you all again. So nothing but good things to say about the book. Love that. Oh, you finished it. I love that. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time to officially transition this call. Yes, it is. It is officially time to transition this call. So Ladies and gentlemen, the gentleman